Max, does yep. he deserve MVP consideration? Yes, he does. That does not mean that you should actually think about giving him the MVP right now because clearly that's Drew Brees. But when you look at the likely candidates, when you select among your pool of MVP candidates, Andrew Luck has now replaced Phillip Rivers. And interestingly, you look up their QBRs, he just also passed them there. I mean, three guys ahead there. He's fifth in the league in QBR. Three of the guys ahead of him are Brees, Mahomes, and Goff. And they should all be considered ahead of him in the MVP contest, too. And, that, and also Todd Gurley should be. But he's now replaced Rivers, who choked at a bad moment and was done this throughout his career, I hate to say it, as the other guy who's starting to get consideration. I've never forgotten this. It seems a lot of people have. Stephen A., to your credit, you've also always given Andrew Luck credit. That was the dude most likely to take over for Aaron Rodgers as the best in the business. Remember earlier in the season against the Eagles where they had to bring in Brissett to throw the Hail Mary because Luck's arm was a wet noodle? How about that? Pa How about some of those passes last night? Andrew Luck got his arm strength back. It's a wrap. The dude is 6'4", cock diesel, can run, can throw, not afraid to lose. Is smart, lives, dreams, eats, sleeps, football like a real football nerd. This hey. dude is the truth, and he is now in the conversation. Hey, Max, uh, can I ask you a question? Do you, do you work for First Take or 1-800-Flowers? Because it looks like you're ready to go and deliver some flowers to Andrew Luck. I might be. I mean, so is, what? It, is it like that? I'm just saying. So what? Yeah, I'm just, it's like I'm, that. I'm just saying. Sure, well, it's is, like is, that. Is, is it like that? I just want to yeah, know. Sure. Because, yeah, because you know, I got, listen, listen. I got some peeps at 1-800-Flowers now. They sponsor my show all the time, and I love them I daily. I got you. I'm just telling you. All I got to Good do is make a out. call to them. And listen, I can arrange for you to get the trip to Indianapolis to deliver ain't him some flowers. I mean, ain't, ain't no, no shame in my game. I, okay, I just want to make sure. If that's how you feel, it's cool. Let me be very clear. Let me be very, very clear about something here. Because it's true. Andrew Luck is balling, no doubt. And Chris Ballard, the general manager, clearly made the right hire with Frank Wright, although that was a second choice because we know he wanted Josh McDaniels, and I think that would have been a mistake. It's great that he's got Andrew Luck. Andrew Luck, 29 touchdowns, just nine interceptions, completing 67% from his passes. You know what I've always felt years ago, as much as I love me some RG3, I was never under this illusion that RG3 should have went ahead in the draft of Andrew Luck. I knew better. Andrew Luck is special, no doubt. I also want to applaud the Colts for drafting that kid Nelson out of Notre Dame because mm. as a guard, offense, I mean, this kid, this kid is big He's time. That's an, incredible, that's an incredible pick. Having said all of that, Max and Damian, can we pump the brakes just a touch? Just a touch. Because Molly, no, Molly, no, Molly, no, Molly, no, Molly, Molly, no. Molly, let me finish. No. Molly Wood, you know where I'm going with this, right? Can we look at the schedule? Mm. Four-game winning streak. <laughs> The Buffalo the Bills, Stephen A. the him. Oakland Raiders, mm -hmm. the the struggling Jacksonville Jaguars. They played a different. That's a different team that went against the Steelers compared to the team we saw the previous five weeks. And obviously, t Tennessee's respectable, even though they didn't look that way yesterday. Three of those four victories: Buffalo, Oakland, or a Buffalo, Oakland, and Jacksonville. Come on now, come on. Let's mm -hmm. let's let's bump Can you the get the man a resume? I'm just saying, like, well, uh, hold on. First, of, first of all, Buffalo has one of the best top defenses in the national football. Really, league. you're going yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going there. Oh, oh, I oh my God! 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 Oh my Absolutely, Andrew, Andrew Luck deserves to be in the MVP conversation. I mean, we talked about seven straight games with three or more touchdown passes. Do you know that the only two players to have a longer streak are Tom Brady and Peyton, Man and Peyton yeah. Manning in both, of the, in both of the historic yeah. seasons? Think, think about that. I mean, we talk about Pat Mahomes and, and we talk about Todd Gurley, and they're playing lights out. But when you're talking about being in a situation where you're throwing three or more touchdown passes in seven straight games. And against some good against, defenses. Tennessee you, got a defense. I don't care what Stephen A. talking about. You can read the schedule all you want. And I, listen, I tweet, I tweeted out, Indianapolis is building, is, is, they're building a bully. They're building whoa, a bully. Whoa, 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 they're whoa, building whoa. That, they're, No, no, I'm no, I'm not gonna whoa. They're building a bully. Whoa, whoa, Watch whoa, whoa, out whoa. Right. Indianapolis Colts. I want to get to the Panthers. Stephen A. You're the last one that commenter. brings up competition all the time. Are you gonna ignore no, that now? No, 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 no. You're not going. You're not going to sit here on the show and try to downplay what Andrew Luck is doing right now. I'm, I'm not, not having. I'm, I'm not having. I'm not having. Okay, okay. No, I'm not okay. having. Okay. All right, let's all take it down a notch. Six-inch voices, please. One thing about Luck. 
luck. Yeah. It's the old, old Roy Jones song. Okay. Y'all must have forgot. Mm. Luck is that man. I like it.